If you suffer from tinnitus, then you didn't just enjoy that sound. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about tinnitus, or pronounced tinnitus in the South, what causes it, what the underlying root cause of it probably is, some things you can do for temporary relief, some things you can do to mask this condition so that it's not so uh, intrusive into your life and your mental health in some cases, and then ultimately what you can do to long-term reduce tinnitus so that it's not really a big deal for you anymore. The first thing you need to know about tinnitus is that it is ubiquitous. Every human on the planet after the age of about 35 or 40, if you get them in a room that is quiet enough, they're gonna have some degree of tinnitus. Now, for the vast majority of us, it's, it's very minor, it doesn't bother us at all, but for some of us, it can be quite severe, especially if you're in a very quiet room, and it can be so severe, in fact, that some people even contemplate suicide because it disrupts their ability to even think if they're in a very quiet room. Tinnitus can be interpreted as a tone, like you heard at the beginning of this video. It can, it can sound like a buzz or a hiss or a roaring. It can be pulsatile or it can be constant. There are many different varieties of tinnitus, but all of them kind of suck. Tinnitus can be one of a constellation of symptoms that occurs in a, in a disease process known as Meniere's disease, which I'll be covering in a future video. But today we're just gonna focus on just the tinnitus and things that can cause it and things that you can do to make it better, not only immediately better, but long-term better as well. First, let's talk about the fixable causes of tinnitus. So there are several things that can lead you to have tinnitus that are correctable that you may not know you have. Uh, one is if you have impacted earwax in your external auditory meatus, that's your external ear canal, then that can give you significant tinnitus. Having the wax removed makes the tinnitus go away. Uh, you can also have a foreign body stuck in your ear canal. You can have a perforated tympanic membrane or eardrum. Uh, correcting that make, can make the tinnitus go away. You can have a B12 deficiency, an iodine deficiency, a taurine deficiency. You can have a, an infection in your middle or inner ear, and this can be a bacterial, a fungal, or a viral infection, and that can cause your tinnitus to be much more severe. You can have TMJ syndrome, where your temporomandibular joint is inflamed, and that leads to tinnitus. You can have undiagnosed hypothyroidism, anemia, a ketone deficiency, and there's also a list of medications that can lead to fixable tinnitus. Now we're left with unfixable tinnitus, and this can result from an acoustic neuroma or some other underlying problem with the inner ear, the eighth cranial nerve, or the brain stem because that, that, you know, that entire pathway, there can be a problem that your brain would interpret as this tone or this buzz or this hum that we call tinnitus. So after you've checked for, with your doctor's help, all of the fixable causes of tinnitus, and then if you have severe tinnitus that doesn't get better after you've corrected all those potential deficiencies and obstructions, then you're left with, do I just have tinnitus or do I have an acoustic neuroma, an MRI of your brain, which would also get the inner ear uh, and the eighth cranial nerve, that's going to rule that out. Then if all that's normal and you still have severe tinnitus that really affects your mental health and your activities of daily living, then you're now ready to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you next because most doctors don't know this and they don't give you this advice, so you never know that this is an option to help at least decrease the severity of your tinnitus, if not reverse it altogether. Now, the two most common uh, tidbits of advice that the average primary care doctor will give you about trying to treat tinnitus is to eat less salt and to limit caffeine. 
but I'm here to tell you that neither of those things is going to help your tinnitus at all. And there's research to back that up. There's gonna be a lot of research links down in the show notes, but one of them is going to say limiting salt caffeine has no effect. And that's the study you can go to. Many doctors give this advice. I used to give that advice to people with severe tinnitus. Limiting salt, limiting caffeine will not help your tinnitus at all. This has been proven with research, so don't go down that dead end road. If your tinnitus is caused by an iodine deficiency, then I have a video on this channel that gives you the seven foods that are richest in iodine. You can fix that. And there's also some supplements I talk about in other videos for iodine deficiency. If you have a taurine deficiency, you can fix that by eating any kind of meat on the planet. If it swims in the ocean or runs on the ground, it is a good source of taurine. One of the best sources of taurine is heart, chicken heart, beef heart. You can include that in your diet and then you know for a fact you don't have a taurine deficiency. Even if your doctor doesn't know how to look for an iodine or taurine deficiency, you can fix them by including foods rich in iodine and taurine in your diet. Now, here's the big dietary change that you can make that potentially could lessen the severity of your tinnitus by 70, 80, 90%, maybe even more. And that is the fact that the vast majority of people with severe tinnitus also suffer from something called hyperinsulinemia. There's a long list of research links down in the show notes below that verifies this, but hearing loss, tinnitus, and Meniere's disease all go hand in hand with chronic hyperinsulinemia. Now, what causes chronic hyperinsulinemia? Well, you could have a tumor called an insulinoma, but 99.9% .9 of people with hyperinsulinemia don't have an insulinoma. They have hyperinsulinemia because they're eating too many carbohydrates on a daily basis for their personal physiology, and that leads to Nobody knows. Nobody really knows why you develop tinnitus in your inner ear or your eighth cranial nerve or your brainstem, but we just know that it is highly, highly associated with having hyperinsulinemia. And indeed, this is the reason I've gotten feedback from so many hundreds and hundreds of people who have adopted a ketogenic or a ketovore or a carnivore diet. They started it for weight loss or they started it to reverse their type two diabetes. And then a few months later, they message me and say, you know what? My tinnitus is way, way better when I'm eating a very, very low carbohydrate diet. Am I crazy? And my reply always is, no, you're not crazy. The hyperinsulinemia that was coming from your high carbohydrate diet was intimately related with your tinnitus. So the, the quickest and easiest way to get at the root cause of tinnitus, not that, that's not reversible, that's not uh, caused by an obstruction or an infection or something like that, is to fix your diet by eating a very, very low carbohydrate diet that is rich in taurine and rich in iodine. Now, other dumb advice that you might get from your doctor is that you should take a benzodiazepine medication like clonopin or Valium. That'll help your tinnitus. Uh, it, there's no research that supports that, and both of those drugs are very, very habit-forming, so I don't recommend you do that at all. Another drug class doctors love to recommend for severe tinnitus is the anti-convulsants like Tegretol, Neurontin, Lamictal. Again, no evidence that these help at all, and even though they're not, uh, by definition, habit-forming or addictive, coming off of the, these medications after you've taken them for many months, you can have significant severe side effects uh, during the withdrawal effect, even though you're not technically addicted to them. Another drug class that doctors love to try for tinnitus is the antidepressants, the SSRIs like Paxil and Prozac and Zoloft and Effexor and Lexapro. There's zero research that these help at all. And many people, when they're coming off these medications after they fail to improve their tinnitus, notice significant worrisome side effects. So best not to even start these kind of drugs at all because there's no research that shows that they're gonna help. So now that you know that a very, very low carbohydrate diet that's rich in iodine and taurine, now that you know that that can actually significantly 
reduce the root cause of your tinnitus and significantly reduce the severity of your symptoms, what do you do in the meantime to get some relief from this buzzing, humming tone that's driving you nuts? Well, there's several things that you can do so that it doesn't bother you as much until you have reversed the root cause of your tinnitus enough so that it doesn't really bother you anymore. So you're back to baseline. Uh, like I said earlier, most people over the age of 40, if you get them in a room that is completely quiet, they can notice a little bit of tinnitus, but it doesn't bother them enough that it's a problem. The best thing that you can do right now to lessen the severity of the, your tinnitus and, and keep you from feeling like you want to jump off the balcony because it's driving you crazy is to get a noise machine. And there's a very good one uh, that we use to sleep with every night. I link to it in the show notes down below. Uh, and I think it's worth the money if you have severe tinnitus because many people notice that a, a white noise or a pink noise or a brown noise that you, you're like, wait, I didn't know there were colors to noises, but that's just a descriptive term. But what works for one person with tinnitus may not work for the other person. So I think you need a, a noise machine that has multiple different settings. And that way you can pick the one that works best for you that doesn't interfere just is like a cacophony. You're like, I can't sleep. I can't do, get anything done with that crazy noise going in the background. Some people notice that something as cheap as a $5 box fan running on low, just that amount of white noise gives them enough relief from their tinnitus that it doesn't really bother them anymore. Other things that may be recommended to you by a healthcare practitioner are ear candles, chiropractic, acupuncture, acupressure. There's zero research that these things help at all, but they most certainly will waste your money. One thing that you can try that I've gotten so much anecdotal feedback from that might actually help temporarily until you're able to improve the root cause of your tinnitus is tinnitus maneuvers. And I included a link to a video down in the show notes of some maneuvers that you can learn to do. And you can do these things multiple times a day. And I've had thousands of people reach out to me and say, this really helped. This video I'm linking to has over three or four million views. And uh, there are many view, uh, videos out there about do this for your tinnitus, make your tinnitus better in 30 seconds. None of this stuff is going to affect or correct the root cause of your tinnitus. But this video probably is going to give you at least some degree of relief as you are correcting the underlying root cause, which is hyperinsulinemia. Also, the guy in the video is really cute and entertaining to watch. So if nothing else, you can watch a fun five minute YouTube video. But I think that if you'll try his maneuvers consistently, you're gonna notice at least some degree of relief from your tinnitus severity until you're able to affect the underlying root cause. If you know someone suffering from severe tinnitus, please consider sharing this video with them. It could change their life, perhaps even save it. Also, if you have a specific question you'd like to ask me personally, you can become a patron on patreon.com. There's a link down in the show notes. I have an extra four live question and answer sessions inside of our Patreon each and every week. And you can also direct message me your questions. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.